Hello, Quad Flying Fun here, and today I've got another Mustang that I wanted to uh, do my flight review on, and uh, this is the E-Flight um, BL, um, it's, uh, let me think here, get the name straight, it's a P-51D, E-Flight P-51D Mustang um, 280, um, BL is what they call it. And although this plane did not get, I mean, I read a lot of reviews on it, didn't get very good reviews. I bought it off eBay, and uh, it had, uh, I think it had, it was a return or something, it had been damaged, and I bought a new fuselage for it and repaired it, and uh, got it all ready to fly, got it all trimmed out. Now, I have flown this once before, and uh, I was, um, the, and the, the the worst area that it was reviewed on is this prop and spinner on this. It uh, vibrates. So what I did, I actually bought a whole new motor for it, and I was kind of disappointed with the quality of that. The uh, shaft came, it was a little bit off-center, and it still is just a little bit. I've worked with it, and I think I've got it back about as true as I can get it. Um, one other thing I did, I balanced the prop and I balanced the spinner, and now I've got it to where it's not vibrating like it was before. Now. This does not have the AS3X in its stock form. Mine's going to. I'm going to uh, get a, another um, AR636 receiver and put in this plane because I like the, uh, I've got that little ultra micro Mustang and it flies so nice with it that I want to put it in this plane also. So without talking too much more, I mean, one other thing, the, and one of the review weaknesses were that the, the fuse is really weak in this area right here. So what I did to correct that, I cut some fiber rods and put in here along this length to strengthen this area right here, glued them in, and I also glued my wing on. I glued it on through here, which will help give it more strength too. So with that said, um, I think that's pretty much the only things I wanted to talk about on this. So let's do our pre-flight testing here. I've already got it bound to the transmitter. And i got my transmitter all set up. So let's make sure we've got everything. Okay, there's elevator. Okay, we got rudder. And uh, let's check our ailerons. Yes, we have aileron control. Prop. Yep, we've got, got motors. So let's get this guy in here. I want to fly this guy. Really, really nice evening out here for early December, I'll tell you. It's uh, kind of chilly, but uh, no winds. Absolutely no wind tonight, so let's get this guy in here. As you can see, it doesn't have the AS3X system on it, so it's kind of twitchy. I think I need to do some trimming here. Let me slow this guy down so I can... See what I need to do with him as far as trimming. Okay, there's a little bit of right aileron. Let me see if it'll stay there. The other day when I flew it, it kept wanting to fly. Yeah, see it's doing it now. It keeps turning. So let's let's throw in, let's trim him a little bit that way, and let's put a little down elevator on him. It wants to fly. Seems like it wants to fly tail heavy. I may have to add some uh you should go straight now here and fly straight. Come on, baby. I'm really flying slow with it because I want to get it still. Pick the nose up. Put in some more down elevator on it. Let me get a little bit of speed up here. Oh, almost did a loop by accident. This plane actually flies decent slow. Let's open it up here a little bit and see what it'll do. See, it's still got some vibration in it. I can hear it. I think that's the canopy making noise on it. Still really, really. I think I'm going to have to add some weight to the nose on it because it just wants to fly. Let me do cut my power down here a little bit and get this guy around. See it just keeps wanting to pitch the nose up all the time. Nose wants to pitch up. Unless I have no power on it at all. Let's see if I can get it to trim out here. Almost flies like my glider when it's like that. Why does my nose keep wanting to pitch up? I'm giving down elevator. There, I'm all the way at the bottom of my trim. Let's see if she'll fly now. 
and I keep putting down elevator on it. This is a really fast plane, I'll tell you. You open this thing up and it'll move, but I just can't get it to, I can't put any throttle on it now because it's wanting to pitch that nose up so much. I have to keep putting down. Oh, I know what I did. I went backwards on my Okay. Okay, now she's flying better. There we go. I went the right way with the trim. I was going backwards with it. Mistake on my part. A little bit more. There we go. Let's open it up. There we go. Man, that's a fast airplane. <laughs> I gotta be careful with it. Look, they're straight up. Let <laughs> me bring it back down here. Wow, this is really a fast airplane. I say it does 65, probably every bit of it. There's wide open throttle. Here it comes. Cut that throttle back just a little bit. I don't want to push my battery that hard. Here's about three quarter throttle. Effortless loops. I'm keeping a lot of um, altitude with it because I'm. This is a fast plane, and I'm not used to one like this yet. So I want to keep enough altitude. If I make a mistake, I can get myself out of trouble. Or I pile it in the ground, like right there. Now see, you can see this doesn't have the AS3X on it. You can tell I'm overcorrecting. That's what that does. It keeps you from doing that. You get into that oscillation where you're overcorrecting the plane. Yeah, I can tell my battery's sagging a little bit on me now. I've run her pretty hard. I don't know what my flight times are on this guy just yet, so we'll just fly around here a little bit and I'm gonna... Yeah, she's sagging pretty good, so I pretty much abused my battery there. Do another loop. Wow, got good range, I'll tell you, I'm out there a ways. Well, since I don't know where I'm at on battery voltage yet, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy in for a landing here. Let me bring her down here just a little bit, cut some power. Bring this guy around again and get him on the ground. This is the hardest part for me living here. I got all these trees out here. It's hard to get it lined up for a landing. Okay, here we come. Get this guy on the ground here. Whoa, too much. Too hot. Come on, baby, come around again. Don't want to crash him. I like his plane too well. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Getting lined up here. Oh, not the best landing, but don't think I heard anything there. I'll take it in and uh, check the battery out. Probably flew there for five or six minutes. That's about the limit on these planes. I'll, I'll go in and check the battery real quick and make sure I didn't uh, didn't uh, overdo my battery on it. So, well, I hope you like that. Man, this plane, I'll tell you, it's uh, get it trimmed out, get it to where it'll fly. This thing will move. Good airplane to fly. I like it. It didn't, like I said, it didn't get very good reviews from people on RC groups, but I'll tell you, I like it. I think when I get that uh, AS3X receiver in it, it's really going to make a huge difference on how it flies. It'll just it just smooths them out so much more. That little uh, ultra micro Mustang I've got flies so smooth that uh, I think it'll make a huge difference. I might need to work with my transmitter here a little bit and uh, work with the gains on it. But boy, it, uh, I enjoyed that, and uh, I hope everybody watching did. Um, if you're in the market for these, now I, these are not for beginners. I'll tell you, you can see it is extremely fast and extremely quick handling plane, but uh, a lot of fun to fly. So if you like that, um, give me a big thumbs up. And like always, uh, please subscribe. Till the next time, see ya. Bye.